Hi, so today I'm going to show you guys how to create uh, two Spring Boot applications that sends and receive messages using RabbitMQ as a message broker. I'm going to provide uh, two links. Um, the first one will show you guys how to install RabbitMQ and the second one, uh, this one will help you with um, commands running the application. Okay, uh, let's get started. Um, we're going to use Spring Initializer to create the Spring Boot applications. Um, so the first uh, application we're going to do is the producer application. And um, now we can add the dependency. So the first dependency that we would add is the web dependency. And then after that, we would add the RabbitMQ dependency. So it's as simple as that. Then we go generate. And then uh, now we can create the consumer application. So I just change it to consumer. And then generate. Okay, so uh, let's open the IDE to uh, the produce application. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, add the queue name to the application.yaml or application.properties. So the variable would be rabbit.queue.name, and then the value would be um, uh, messages.go.here. Okay, uh, we can go ahead and create the facade layer. I'm just going to create the package. I'm just going to name it facade. And then just going to go ahead and create the implementation package as well. Uh, so now for the interface, I'm just going to name it producer facade. And then we have to make sure that the interface is in the right package. And uh, this interface will only have one method. Um, we're not going to have it return anything. And uh, it's just going to be send message uh, string message. And then for the implementation class. I uh, was just going to name it producer facade uh, IMPL. And then we're going to have it implement uh, uh, the interface. And then we're going to add the missing method. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, um, we're going to inject the um, queue name. So we can have a private uh, string queue name. And then we're going to use the value annotation for the injection. Um, and it's going to take it from the application YAML. So add value, and then we're going to get the key from the application YAML, which is uh, rabbit.q.name. And I'm just going to copy and paste it over. And then uh, we have to make sure that we have uh, the dollar sign and then uh, the curly braces in between the name of the key for it to reference. And then after that, um, let's just auto wire the rabbit template in. So auto wire um, private uh, rabbit template. And uh, for the method, um, we're just going to use the rabbit template. So um, rabbit template dot uh, convert and send. And the first parameter it would take the queue name. So queue name, and then the message that we would send to the queue. And now, uh, don't forget to add the component uh, annotation. Now, uh, that's it for the facade layer. Okay, uh, we can get started on the service layer. I'm just going to create the package uh, service. And then now we can get started with the interface. Um, it can be producer um, service. And uh, this interface will also only have uh, one method. Uh, it's just going to be void, send message, and it's just going to take in another string. And now um, we can create the package for the implementation. So IMPL. And then I'll create the class. 
So we can just name it producer service um, IMPL. And we're going to implement the interface. And, uh, add the methods. And then add the annotation for service. And first, um, we're going to auto wire um, the facade part of it. Producer uh, facade. And then now uh, for the method, which is going to call the um, facade. So, there's a facade that send message. And then pass along the message. And uh, finally, we can um, add the controller class. So, it's going to make controller package. And then a new class for the controller. This can be producer controller. So uh, this is an annotation for rest controller. We're just going to be add rest controller. And now we're going to auto wire the service. Now private uh, producer service. So now let's do the rest call. Um, it's going to be a post call. So uh, post method and, and um, the value, which will be um, the endpoint. Uh, so it's be API uh, slash um, send message. And then um, it will consume a uh, application JSON. For the method, uh, just gonna be public response entity uh, send message, and it's gonna take a request body, which would be the JSON message that we're going to send. So string uh, JSON. For the method body, we're just gonna use the service, the so producer service dot send message, and then the JSON message. So then we need to uh, return the response entity. This return new response entity and then the HTTP status, which is just going to be okay. And uh, now we're done with the REST controller. And now we can just go to the main application and then just uh, run the application. So it's just going to build. And then open up the console. And then uh, application is started. Okay, so let's get started with RabbitMQ. The default username and password is guest and guest. And I'm going to leave most of the exploring to you. Um, all we're going to do now is add the queue. So we're just going to go to the queue tab, then add, um, go to name, and then just add the name of the queue, which is message.go.here. And uh, that's it. So now we have the queue. So uh, I use Postman to hit the API. Um, we're going to hit the endpoint localhost ADAD um, API slash send message. And uh, I'm just going to send two random uh, JSON message. And now if we go back to the queue, we can click on messages.go.here. And then uh, go to get messages, and we can see that uh, we have two messages. And uh, that's it. Uh, we successfully sent a message um, using RabbitMQ. Okay, uh, so now let's get started with the consumer application. We're just going to add a, a listener class. So we're going to start off with the package. So it's going to be listener. And then uh, the actual class, uh, message listener. And uh, we have to make sure that it is a component. Now we just need to make the method that will um, have the instruction on what to do with the received messages. So just public void receive 
message and then the string and message and to make this a rabbit uh, listener we just need to add the annotation rabbit listener uh, with the queue name um, which is uh, messages dot go dot here so any messages that uh, comes through this queue will be consumed here so we're just gonna print that message out And now uh, let's run this consumer application. Oh, uh, this seems to be an error. Uh, it seems that, oh, because we have the producer application also running on the same port. So I'm just going to go to the uh, application YAML and then uh, change the port. So uh, we're going to change it to uh, port 8081 since producer application is. Um, currently running on 8080 and then I'm going to run it again and, uh, everything's good the application is currently running let's open the same uh, postman and um, we can start sending some messages I'm just going to do can you see this and send And if you can see the console, it printed out that uh, JSON that we just sent. Okay, uh, so let's send another message. I'm just gonna change this to hello. Uh, my name is Fee, and send. And now let's go back to the console, and you see that the message has been received. Okay, uh, so for recap, we created uh, an application that produces a RabbitMQ message and another application that consumes that same message. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope that uh, this tutorial was helpful.